There are tons of leaders, Kirk Mays at Forgotten Harvest, you know, gleaners, all, all people doing this work. I mean, United Way, everybody's had to kind of figure out um, their sort of new reality in leading these types of, uh, of organizations. Um, and I think we've all just sort of shared a lot of ideas about what has worked and what hasn't worked. I think there are things that we started back in March that we've pivoted on already that, you know, maybe didn't work as well as I thought they were going to work when I initially implemented it. I think the biggest thing for me and the thing that I, I worry about most is keeping the staff and now the children that we have back in our Center for Children only two days a week. But, you know, what worries me at night is making sure that everybody stays safe. We did a lot around for our volunteers because we always still need volunteers when you're feeding 42,000 seniors you have to prepack a lot of boxes, right? And so we had to shift our focus there. So people would come in, they had socially distant marker, distance markers. So they would stand in the right place on the floor. We installed portable hand washing sinks. We did hand sanitizer everywhere. We mandated that everybody wear a mask, but you still worry that you can, if somebody gets sick, right? You don't wanna be part of any kind of spread of this, uh, this virus. So. Um, that's the thing that I think most of the leaders are challenged with, especially if they still have people coming in and out, is how do you do it and maintain safety for not only your staff, but for the clients that you serve?